three dollars. <laughs> Look how cute. <laughs> what? You want some? No, thank you. Enjoy. All right, fine. <laughs> Is the fish and chips good? It looks like it's coconut. There's some coconut breading going on. Oh wait, Sarah, I saw it. Really? Yeah. Guys, I'm back to my hotel room. Oh, let me just talk to you for a minute. I'm in Seattle. If you haven't already figured it out. So yesterday I was able to get some editing done. I don't think I ever like got back in touch with you guys. And then this morning I woke up around 3, 3.30 because I had a check-in time of 5.15 in the morning just for my two-day trip that I wasn't necessarily supposed to do but it was the original trip that I got awarded on my line. I'm sorry, it's so hot here. Like the clothes that I have were not the right choice of clothes. I should have been in a summer dress. So it's just a two-day trip. We did Newark to LA, LA, Seattle, way over here in Seattle. And then while we were waiting for the shuttle in Seattle, we ran into some old continental people, um, actually some old international people and some people that, that I had never met before. But uh, I ran into the ex-supermodel, her name is Valeria. She was a supermodel before she was a flight attendant. And, um, <laughs> and so, um, she was like, Ashley, we're going to Pike Market. You have to come out with us. And I was like, Valeria, I've been up since three. I'm so tired. The time zone change, everything is killing me. I might go to bed. She's like, come on, come on. So by the time we get to the hotel, it's like 1.45. She goes, we're coming downstairs at 2.30. And of course, I went out. I haven't seen Valeria since like, since like COVID. We ran into each other at the parking lot. It was like 20, I don't know. It must have been like 2020 sometime. But before then, before then I saw Valeria, we had a terrible emergency, like the worst emergency I've ever experienced. Uh, years ago, like 2018, where um, we had to divert to Nova Scotia. Then Valeria was like, Ashley, that was the last time we saw each other. But I don't think that's true. We've actually flew together a couple times afterwards. She just doesn't remember. But anyway, we went out here in Seattle. I had a great time. I couldn't tell you. I don't actually don't even remember if I've actually even been to Pike Market before. I think when I first got hired, I went to Pike Market. But um, it was great to go. It's super cute. It was so hot. I couldn't even enjoy myself. I think Pike Market is one of those places where you need to go with like one other person and they need to be down to stopping at every single booth. Yeah, you can't go with the group because everybody has different agenda, everybody wants to do one thing, but we did have one thing in common that was to get something to eat. So we got something to eat, we got um, lunch and we got some seafood. Of course, here in Seattle, you're right here on the water, you have to get the seafood. It just makes sense. And then we went to a bakery and then we walked around Anyway, we had a great time at 7 o'clock. And I had to be picked up at 4.45 in the morning. I have to be at the airport by 5.20. And it's just one leg back to Newark. Super easy two-day. It's worth 14 hours with a total of three legs. Not bad at all. Um, I was crying on the inside yesterday. I did not want to do this trip at all. I'm going to shower again. And I'm going to change my clothes again. 
And I'm gonna see if I can do a little bit more editing. I was gonna push out a video for Sunday, but it looks like I may have to do a video tomorrow because I didn't do any editing for YouTube. I'm having the hardest time doing editing and stuff for YouTube, so uh, I do apologize for the lack of content coming to, to YouTube because I'm trying to push content for TikTok and Instagram and yeah, I just need help. It's a lot, it's a lot. It really is. So, yeah, I'm happy that you guys have hung out with me these past couple days. Tomorrow is the last day of the trip. I'm so happy to be home. I think we land around 1.30ish, 2.30ish. So, you can't go wrong with that. I need water. I need water. And I need... Woo! <laughs> I need water and I need another glass of wine, I think. But look how cute the shower is. It's so cute. I need to clean up all my makeup. I just wore the white top that I showed you guys that I got from Zara. And I got my high-waisted jeans on from, where are these from? Express. That's the outfit. And I just have one of my little flats. Oh, can you guys see? That's it. I gotta get off. I gotta get off the. I gotta get off the phone. I was about to say. <laughs> hey guys, I showered and I'm all clean. I'm on my towel right now, and I will see you guys uh, in the morning. Hopefully, I have flossed and brushed my teeth. My face is clean, and this is how we are rolling to bed. Hey guys, I'm back home from my trip. Sorry, the lighting is not good. I'm gonna move you over here. There we are. But I'm back home and I have not showered. I literally just put on this long sleeve top. I'm unpacking my lunchbox and I am going to do influencer things, editing, <laughs> which is my life, so I'm just so happy to come back to a clean apartment. I mean, seriously, there's no other greater feeling than this, but like I said, the fifth it was a 14 hour two day and it was pretty good. The time right now is 3.47. We landed at, what time did we land? Two o'clock, 2.30, right before the storm happened. So just in the nick of time, I am going to um, unpack my lunch pot bag, put everything away, put, put my Diet Coke in the refrigerator, and I'm going to make coffee and try and get out a YouTube video before 8 p.m. Or maybe I should put out a video on Tuesday. I don't know if I want to put out the video today or tomorrow. But I just want to have it edited and upload it, you know? So, put my bonnet on, make a coffee, and I don't feel too tired. Even though we, I got picked up at 4.45 this morning. That means it was like seven o'clock East Coast time. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, if I start to get sleepy, I'm just gonna hop in the shower and then uh, probably take a nap and then be up all night. So I have a domestic trip tomorrow. And hopefully I'll be able to get rid of it. The check-in time's at 6 p.m. I have a nail appointment at 11.30. And so I'm gonna try and trade into an international. We shall see, wish me luck. I'm not sure if this vlog has been too long or not. I don't know if I should end it here. If I, if I do end it here, goodbye, see you the next one. And then if I don't end it here, take you along with me to my international tomorrow, then I'll just see you tomorrow. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do and 350 so I just want to use as much natural light as I can to, to do the editing and I just want to use the second one that I have drink coffee and I'm gonna keep the momentum going okay so yeah I decided to use my Lacoste bag as my new makeup bag so I do have makeup in there and I just I love this pouch honestly it's like the perfect size. The perfect, perfect size. All right. 
work phone. It's so funny, this bag right here, lunch pit, this lunch bag, you're always packing and unpacking. Always. The pastries that I got from the French bakery yesterday. I have a little package here from Discount Surgical of my compression thigh highs. Discount Surgical. That's where I get all my compression hose from. Makeup pouch. Diet Coke. Yeah, make a coffee. We will get some work done. Okay, so before I make a coffee, I decided that I'm going to do a mirror right here on the entry on the entryway wall and i want it to be big and obnoxious and tall the ceilings are super super high i know you really can't tell here at this angle but it is the the ceilings are crazy crazy high 33 right here It's about 72 inches wide, the wall. 72 inches. So hopefully, let me check the size of the mirror that I want. It looks so tired, 72 inches. And then the one that I want, because I need to start taking like outfit pictures for Instagram. And I also need to buy clothes to take pictures for Instagram. All right, so this particular mirror, 41 inches. Dimensions, the width is 41 inches. The height is 74 inches. The depth is two inches. So if I do this one, the width, 41. This is 41 inches, guys. It leaves, it leaves the wall with some space. If I do the bigger one, I'm looking at our house, by the way. The huge one. The price point is crazy. The price point is $500 different. Sorry, I'm exhausted. All right, the big one is 64 inches. The width is 64 inches. So it's this entire thing plus four inches. I don't know. Hold on, let me think about something. Okay, so I think I'm gonna order the one that's 41 inches wide because it's more apartment friendly. And ordering the big obnoxious one, the one that's 64 inches wide, I think that's more for like people who actually like have a huge apartment. Like those are for people, I mean, even though this wall is huge, I think it's for like, I would have issues like if I move, if I move to like the city, and like right now, this apartment's 500 square feet. If I move to an apartment that's like 300, 400 square feet, I'm gonna have an issue taking that mirror from Jersey City to Manhattan. I'm just thinking about like for the future or anywhere else that I move. Um, if I do the other one, the smaller one, I won't have as much of an issue putting it into another house or another apartment, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna be smart about the mirror, but I for sure need to buy the mirror to take photos. Um, and for like the LTK and stuff and like, so you guys can see instead of using the bathroom mirror, it's about time. How long have I been in this apartment? I've just been so lazy and I haven't really put much TLC into my apartment. It's just been the only thing that's like the most, I mean that apartment, it has like a little bit of my personality. Like the closet, my personality, all that black, that's like the color of my soul. So yeah, let's make a coffee and then um, and I am gonna get the gold because the gold is not like gold gold. It's like rustic and antique French looking. So that's the one that I want. And that's the one that mama shall get. So 74 inches is about the height of somebody who is 6.1. Good, good enough. Good enough for me, darling.
Alright. Let's make a coffee. <laughs>